Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make available and use Blackboard Collaborate tool that is built into the Blackboard course management software. We're going to start on the Blackboard homepage, select the course you have instructor access to that you want to make a collaborative space available in. Now, under the course management control panel, select course tools. You will be able to see the currently available tools for your students in your course. If you did not customize these preferences, they should be the default tools made available by Blackboard. Default collaborative tools include wikis, discussion boards, and course messages. These tools allow students to interact and collaborate via text, but Blackboard also offers a collaboration space that can somewhat replicate the social nature of a face-to-face -face classroom. To make this option available, go down to Customization, and select Tool Availability. This list shows all the potential tools you can use in your Blackboard component of the course. We will be exploring the Blackboard Collaborate options. Blackboard Collaborate Course Room is a room you can make available that by default will include everyone in the class. Blackboard Collaborate Mashup will allow you to add audio components to announcements in addition to the currently available option to add YouTube videos slide share presentations, and Flickr photos. Blackboard Collaborate My Room is a room that by default will be the instructor space that you can use to invite students individually for conferencing, for example. And the Blackboard Collaborate Scheduling Manager gives you the option to create multiple course rooms with a lot of customization options. We are going to make available the Blackboard Collaborate Scheduling Manager only because I want to be able to create very specific collaborative spaces. You can go back up to the top and click Submit. Now, when you go back to the course tools, you'll notice Blackboard Collaborate is now an option. So this is the Blackboard Collaborate main page. Let's create a session. By default, the session name will be the course, but we can change that to anything we'd like. You can select the start and end times to be any time in the future or for however long you'd like. This can be a repeated session such as if you're going to be using this for office hours and there's the option to allow students into the session early. Now there are many room options available here. You can select if you want this room to be exclusively for this class, or if you are teaching multiple sessions of the same course, you may want to open it up to all those sessions as well. There are three different teleconferencing options as well. I always, by default, select built-in so that there aren't any issues with incompatibility. Now the room attributes is the section you can modify to exert the most control or distribute the power amongst your students. The ability to record these sessions seems like a useful possibility so students will be able to rewatch any lecture or collaboration sessions at any point in the course. I'm going to select automatic. You can customize the amount of talkers who can be speaking at the same time and also the amount of cameras that can be available. I personally do not like the option of recording private messages. It's just a bit too panoptic for my pedagogy. So I'm going to leave the default setting as off. All permissions allows access to all participants in the class to add or change the resources in the room. Raising hand on entry is also an option. I'm not sure what the benefits of that would be. I think allowing in session invitations is a great idea. It also offers you the ability to preload content. The rooms also allow you to easily add a grade column, such as if the participation for this will be graded. And you also have the option to allow all, all these students to join as moderators or just participants, or you can assign access to individual students as well. Now, if you're happy with all of your options, click Save, and you'll now notice that your class is listed under the scheduled sessions. Click on the class you created that you wish to launch and select Launch Room. 
In order to launch the class, you must download the zip file and unzip it to install the Blackboard Collaborate Launcher application. By clicking on Launch Room, it downloads a .collab file, which I'm going to open. And by selecting the file, it will by default open the Blackboard Collaborate Launcher. Now that you're in your whiteboard space, you can customize the room however you would like, creating an inviting landing page or perhaps an instructions page to get the meeting started. Once you have created your first room, I suggest poking around and finding out what is possible. Since this tool offers a range of possibilities, some of which include application sharing, web tours, breakout rooms, quizzes, class polling, chat messaging, video and audio teleconferencing, and an interactive whiteboard. Blackboard Collaborate offers many possibilities to enhance your class, so I encourage you to give it a shot and see how it can enhance collaboration in your classroom.